What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball just sold out. This is a jumbo edition eight box case break. Pick your teams number eight. Here we go, guys. Uh, we took it off the website right now, Peter. I'm not sure if we're posting up a number nine. So, unfortunately, uh, maybe check back tomorrow or another day. We have personals available, though, man. Not sure, Peter. This one took a long time to fill, so uh, check back later. I'm not too sure, man.
Alright, one more guys and then we'll go through the first floor. Here we go guys. So again, we're gonna do it like last time. We're gonna kinda like skip through the paper. Obviously the, the three players, uh, you know, we'll get sleeved up and top loader for the paper base. And then obviously every chrome that we see here will get sleeved up to be top loader for later. But just to make the break go by quicker since it's only like three players. And you usually on average get at least one per box, so. Should be good. All right, Kevin Parada. And our first auto is DeAndre Smith. It's a 71 speckle first. And that's for the Mets, which is a fifth round pick. And Mets is going to Ryan L. Emmanuel Rodriguez to 99. And a speckle there, Brandon Barrera for the Blue Jays. And Chase DeLauder to 75 black. Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland going to Ryan.
And Douglas Holdo, the third, for the Baltimore Orioles. That is uh, Peter. The Lauder. Paper purple to 250. All right, here we go. Next one. I know, right? You're getting a bunch of hits right now, right? <laughs> Great first box. I'll try, buddy. All right, next box now, guys. Uh, Nate Savino. Ooh, we got an orange. Khalil Watson. That's nice. Orange to 25. That's uh, Marlins going to Todd. And then we got Douglas Holdo again. This time it's a refractor auto to Khalil Watson. Let's get the rainbow going. Henry Bolts. I don't remember what his auto actually looks like, so I want to check that out later. Let's see if it's, uh, it's worthy of it. Probably is, though, right? <laughs> There's an Elijah Green. Then we got Nathan Mortarella. It's one of the most... I don't remember what it looks like. Padres. Uh, Padres, of course, that's going to go to Todd. Cole Phillips, first paper. And for the Pirates, Thres Gonzalez, Shimmer Gold. Pirates, that's going to Ryan Harold. Halfway through. Got an orange right there, Tamar Johnson. Invicta orange. Number 16 to 25. Pirates is Ryan Harold. Speckle there for Won Bincho. And then Drew Gilbert for Houston. Astros, Noel. Jawanski Noel, nice one there for the Guardians.
Cole Phillips. That is to 150. Atlanta Braves going to Jeremy. Oh, yeah, Ryan? Sick. Good to know. Roderick Arias for the Yankees to 250. Jordan Sprinkle. Roderick Arias again. This time to 499. And Mariners, Walter Ford. Mariners, that is Peter. All right, next one here. Alexis Hernandez. Max Muncy and Dylan DeLucia. And Guardians, Ryan, you're just killing it right now to 250. A lot of Guardians autos. Roderick, a lot of Roderick arise color too for the Mets, Jason K. Or not for the Mets, for the Yankees, I should say. Kevin Parada, that must be a variation. <laughs> the fact that you actually see where you're at. <laughs> oh, I, I for sure, right? I, I know. I mean, I, I know all of you guys' names for show. Sure. Enjoy this shit, right? <laughs> Sit back and and, re and uh, enjoy this. Andrew Pintar, uh, Diamondbacks, Kev. McCabe to 199 for the Braves. Jeremy. 
that one. And another one. I hit. A, didn't I hit a black paper one on one in the last one I did? J.R. Ritchie for the Braves one of one. That's nice. <laughs> I know, right? Mr. Relevant, the randomizer. And that's actually a first round pick. Which is not bad. Yeah, 35th overall first round pick. How many picks how many picks are in the first round? If there's only 30 ball clubs. Yeah, he's 35th. pretty good too for a paper card right. I don't even know what that means <laughs> I don't pay attention to the MLB draft honestly out of all the drafts football of course is like my favorite one basketball is always exciting hockey this next year with Connor Bedard is going to be wild, but baseball one I never really pay attention to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's all that's all good though. We see the label first round pick. You got to be pretty good. Doesn't mean you're gonna translate, but when it comes to the hobby purposes, people people know that uh, first rounders, of course, is something you want to invest into. It's usually those other guys that are, aren't first rounders that turn out to be pretty good, or you know, especially the international players that don't get in a draft, just get signed. Exactly why people love Bowman. It is probably one of the best products to buy into. I, I, I believe so. That's why these the stuff sometimes sells for so much. Because you can get rid of them during the hype of the product release. Or you can be those people that just stash it away. Which is nothing wrong with that, right? Especially if you buy a lot. You know, consistently. Stash it away for a couple years. And then all of a sudden, right? You just see this guy killing it in the minors even and or getting called up and then all of a sudden you're like I remember that guy you know and it could have been worth a lot back then right or it could have been worth nothing and now it's worth a lot more but that's that's the reason why people love Bowman I hope that um, they can establish that with like football now that with all the, the NIL stuff I would love for them to do like you remember last year guys when they made like Bowman University I don't think it's sold for as good as it will, but, you know, I wonder how it would be like, let's just say Bryce Young, right? He's the next big guy. Ends up having, like, a freaking crazy good NFL career, right? Let's just say that happens. You would think that his, like, Bowman University first would probably sell the, the best, right? I mean, I, I would think so. 
but I don't know how football is going to translate. You know? So it's like, I would love for that to translate well, though. If they can do that for, like, college players, that'd be amazing. Anybody watch any of the bowl games, though, yesterday? You guys see that? I, I didn't watch the whole game, but the fact that USC lost it too late. <laughs> oh, my God. All offense. No defense. I think the quarterback literally had only completed, like, four passes the whole game until that last drive. Dude, the TCU that that TCU game was great. Honestly, it was really, really good. I love that. I love that game. I didn't really watch too much of the of the second game um, later that night with Georgia, but that Georgia game ended up being a pretty crazy one too. Ohio State came out came out pretty well, I and mean, they could have won that game. Imagine if, like, that would have happened. It would have been TCU-Ohio State in the championship game. That's why I can't wait for them to expand the playoffs, honestly. Because there should have been other teams that got a potential chance just as much. Also, right now, guys, I know we're just talking about random sports, but... Ovechkin is on a freaking tear right now, this guy. And I love that they're wearing, like, that black retro jersey that they wore when he was, like, a rookie. I don't know if that's their normal jersey now, but if it is, it's amazing. But it looks like the Sabres and Tage Thompson, who had a hat trick today, ended up beating this, the Washington Capitals. But, man, Ovechkin is just on a tear right now. say that honestly I would and when he breaks Gretzky's record I think nobody will debate it anymore like if you ever get to see that dude in person and you hear his slap shot <laughs> dude is crazy hey Ryan I'm one of those guys that kind of say I think it was a little easier to score goals back then but people get mad at me for saying that I mean at one point goalies were just not even in butter butterfly stands they're just standing up I'm just saying I think goalies are much more talented nowadays but the fact is though like like McDavid and these guys that are scoring goals on some of these goalies uh, is pretty obviously remarkable. More more talent than anything. With the speed, you know, the quick hands. Oh, I know. I never said that. I never. I never went to the point of saying overrated. But <laughs> I think we can all agree that like, if if the goaltending wasn't wasn't as good, he did score a lot of easier goals. But again, he he's still like the highest scoring. Uh, Leads the league in points, and he'll lead the league in points without even goals. That's the crazy thing. Is that, like, if you take away his goal stats, he's still the highest scoring player in NHL history. 
so it's yeah <laughs> it's like okay it's kind of undebatable then you think so Yeah, I guess for, I don't know. I guess it depends on the sport of the player, I guess. Yeah, because the crazy thing about Ovechkin is that, again, you know that when they're on a power play or they're setting up their, you know, they're setting up around the point, you know, passing it around, you know where he's going to be. You know the shot's coming. And you still can't stop it. That's the crazy thing about that with all those kind of goals. And not to say that he, like, obviously, it's the only thing he scores. He still has a lot of great, amazing goals, you know, with speed and stuff, but... Yeah, it's it, that's the crazy thing about Ovechkin with his shot. It's like you know it's coming, you know it's gonna happen, and yet you still can't stop it. I for McDavid, the way he's playing now in this in this generation, I mean in this era, he's I think he's probably the most talented player probably ever. I mean, and obviously that's to this point. There's other great players that are obviously still young and talented too, but I don't know, man. Connor McDavid is something else, man. That, this is the crazy thing, right? McDavid is going to do all this, and, he, and his team just barely wins. Like, he can score three goals, score a hat trick every game, he probably still loses. <laughs> That's the sad part about it. So... He's just so much faster, more skilled than than all a lot of players in the NHL. I mean, there's great there's great defensemen out there that can probably you know take them at, you know from time to time, but you can't you, you can only hope to contain them, not stop them. Well, the first round they played against my Kings, which was a great series. They ended up going seven games. My Kings kind of blew it, though. Honestly, they, they should have won. They could have won in game six. And then the next round... I don't even know, remember who they played the next round. Ooh, nice one right there. Ivan Melendez. But I remember the, they ended up playing the Colorado Avalanche, obviously, in the, in the, in the Western Conference Finals. The 250. That one was a fun series because of how talented both those teams are. Uh, that's going to the Diamondbacks and Kev. I for Oh, yeah, you know, did they play the Flames? I think they did, actually. I think that was one of those games you're talking about where, like, it was just, like, almost over and then they came back. I think it was one of those games. I think you're right. Jay Allen. Paper, another one of Chase. Got a lot of Chase actually in this one, which is another first rounder too. Is he one of the top prospects too, Ryan? I mean, if you're 16th overall, it's pretty good. Wow, he averaged in college uh, 24 games, six home runs, 35 RBIs, average 437. Okay. Alright, 
continue on. Kenya Higgins to four ninety nine. That's for the Reds and Dave. I know, Ryan. You, I mean, you're going to get a ton of his papers and chromes and stuff, but yeah, I would love to get you an autograph of him. Ooh, purples. Boston, so Carson Milbrandt and Chase Maderoth. That is a uh, fourth rounder. And Red Sox is Mark. Paper, Brian Acuna. One second, guys. Sorry, guys, the, the Zaz here. All right, come on, Kings. Playing good hockey right now against the Dallas Stars. Let's get another goal. Kasich coming up. And Brooks Lee for the Twins. Usually one to two of these. Minnesota Twins is Peter. Did I do a Cooks to 99? What happened? Did I fuck up? Oh, you're... <laughs> You're talking about the guy over there? Someone's at the door? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What's going on? Yes, yes. But that video is a little different, bro. This one didn't have no face camera. It was just like, someone's at the door. Fucking hear like a slice. Rapper rips really quick. I was like tripping out right now. I was like, what the hell are you guys talking about? That's funny, though. Yeah, guys, honestly... That's like rule number one for if you're getting into breaking. I, I get it sometimes. Some places might have the craziest deals in the world. But I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy stuff where like this guy one time I was watching him. And this was like early in the days of breaking. Like maybe, maybe in 2015, 2016. This guy was breaking like out of his like dinner table. And I swear to God, this guy looked like he was just working on a car. Like that's how dirty his hands were while he was like ripping open a box. You know, it's just like, man, I don't know, man. Like, it's, you got to try to be as least as professional as possible. But, I mean, look, it's, at the end of the day, it's your guys' money. But, obviously, try to go to someone legit. And, yeah, if they can show multiple camera angles, that's even better. Don't buy anything that's off camera, ever. Because uh, there is, like I said, a lot of bad people in this world. So, cut or coffee.
And Henry Williams and another Nathan Martorella. It's a four ninety four ninety nine. Challenger Simpson. Wild breaking times, right, Rex? I mean, out of all the people, you've probably seen a lot more than I have. <laughs> Jay Rest, thanks for coming. problem man congrats nice little one on one and how about more for your Braves man look at that it's a 250 McCabe uh, there's fourth round pick there Two more boxes, guys. And how about a Brooks Lee Gold Wave Refractor Parallel? That is going to the Minnesota Twins and Peter. I believe this die is also pretty good. Right? Gold Wave. So there you go, Peter. Jackson Holiday Refractor. <laughs> and Alex Freeland to 99. Some good color in this box so far. Uh, third round pick for the Dodgers. And uh, Dodgers is kept. Paper, Jace Jung, which is also a first-round pick, 12th overall paper. Detroit, going to Raymond. And then Melton for Detroit as well. Fourth rounder. And Oscar Colas for the White Sox, paper gold. White Sox is Mike Estrella. And Ryan Cermak to 250 for TB, which is a second round pick. Tampa Bay is Craig. And Jared McKenzie, Washington, fifth round pick, going to Peter.
Douglas Holder. I think that's like our third of that guy. Orioles. Another Roderick Arias paper for the Yankees. Or color, I should say, in general. It's like five color cards already. It's so funny, right? Like, they release Bowman Chrome and, you know, those other players are like big first. And then two weeks later, or a week later, they release Draft. And now they're just a prospect card in this. All right, guys, last box here, folks. Good luck. Paper Christian Vaquero, Peter with Washington. Sorry about that, Valerio. Start us off with Silas. Uh, fourth rounder there for the Baltimore Orioles. Who scored, guys? Wasn't paying attention, I was breaking. Kopi? Nice. King Kopi. Nice. Nice little deflection in front. Jet Williams, color match. Another first round pick, 14th overall for the Mets. There you go, Ryan. Oh, snap, orange. Oh, it's just a base. Harry Ford, orange. Seattle Mariners. And Kamar Rocker case hit for the Texas Rangers, but it's Scott. And another Cermak, the temporary raise, raises Craig. Wow, this guy gets really excited. Jesus. I guess that was a good pass. Alright guys, let me just quickly top load these hits here and then I'll go through a little quick hit recap. seeing that pizzle but it's not a knee issue it's a hamstring which i think even your boy has been out a lot with the hamstring injury so 
If it was knee issue, I'd be very concerned, but I'm not too worried about that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so all of these are colors. Right here. So, of course, you know, we're going to top load all this stuff. Got a lot of colors first, etc. Just get that. And then, Huggins, uh, Midroof, Brooks Lee, Cutter Coffee, Martorella, McCabe, Freeland Green, Cermak Purple, McKenzie, Hodo, uh, Silas, Rocker Case Hit, Cermak again, Delauder, Paper, Color, Melendez Auto, Jet Williams Color, Jace John Color, Brooks Lee Goldway was probably one of the bigger cards. Delosia Purple, Pintar, McCabe again. 101 Richie was probably a really nice one too. Delauder Auto to 75. Another Holdo, another Holdo, Mortarella, Trez Gonzalez, Gilbert, Phillips, Ford, and Smith. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, that was Picker Team number eight on jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thanks.